so welcome friends today uh, we are going to uh, start the riveted joint and uh, uh, here i am uh, with you uh, as your tutor and uh, i must uh, say that uh, um, you will find a very good lecture here and uh, uh, the pains uh, that I need to take it here. I'm just going to change the color of the, my pain. I think I should take a white and okay. Yes, it is working. Right, yes, it is working. So, my pair is Tanki, and uh, uh, we are here to enjoy the uh, our. Is working not working properly I'm going to off it so uh, let's friend uh, go to the next page and uh, in which uh, uh, what do you mean by the uh, rivet so uh, rivet basically has a head it has a sunk or body and its tail so rivet is basically it is an uh, cylinder kind of thing like this cylinder and that cylinder if you do the hammering on it then that will convert it into the head right and this is called as the head we will see it uh, in the uh, next uh, slide in the picture and you will understand that what i mean to say so rivet is nothing rivet is a short cylinder bar with a head integral to it right integral to it means it is joined with that particular uh, cylinder and the cylindrical portion of the rivet is called as the sunk as i told you it is called as the sunk this is the sunk and the lower part or lower portion of the sunk is called as the tail right and we use this uh, rivet for uh, having the uh, fastening right for the fastening purpose we are using the rivet so suppose we have one plate right we have one plate and we want to join that plate with the another one then we will insert this rivet and we join it right so we do it for the fastening of the two plates now the, this fastening or this uh, joint is classified into the um, permanent joint or the permanent fastening and second one that is called as the temporary or detachable fastening so let me first see the uh, permanent fastening now see here the permanent fastening uh, that is the fastening in which you cannot you cannot disassemble without destroying the connection of component and the examples are the shoulder brace and uh, riveting so see here this person is doing the welding right this is what is doing here so once you do the welding with the joint then you cannot disassemble this particular connection or you cannot disassemble the um, joint without destroying so you have to destroy this junction to disassemble the component this one two three and four different component is joined together here with the rivet if you want these three disassembled then you have to destroy this joint and that is what called as the permanent fastening now the temporary or the detachable fastening now this fastening which can be disassembled without destroying so it is kind of the folding so the simple example uh, you have the one wood plate and another wood plate you join together with this screw when you open this screw both the screw this both the member will be detached right so it means there is no 
destroying the connection so there are some example that you screw joint then key and for terpene and spleen joint so here there are some example this is your uh, hem this is what is your uh, loose key joint this is your pin joint if you remove this pin the joint will be disassembled this is a quarter pin if you just take out this quarter this quarter out then it will be dis disassembled and you know, this is what is called sp line joint if you just take out this sp line out then both the member will be disassembled so this is what called as the temporary or detachable fastening now the methods of riveting we have basically two type of the method one is called as the your cold riveting and another one is called as your as your hot riveting cold riveting and hot riveting so in the cold riveting uh, what we are doing when cold rivet is used then the process is called as the cold riveting and if you are using the hot rivet then it is called as the hot riveting now i will show that what is the hot and cold so i will show the uh, it is by the video here by using this video you can see that what is the what is the cold riveting see here you put one rivet here right so you are putting the rivet here then you put the plate then you overlap another plate and then you put the hammer right you hammer on it and then you hammering that particular point again you are hammering again you put the punch and then you do the fix the joint so this is what called as the cold riveting cold riveting now let we see the hot riveting what is the hot riveting let we see how the hot riveting is done so here uh, you just hot the rivet and this is your rivet with one side head you put that into the die then you fix up the plates and then you do the press this press and you will have the joint see here uh, you are inserting you are taking out this uh, hot rivet you put it and flash it to the per particular point then you do the press see here you are mechanical press you press it you will have the riveting see again you are doing the same thing you put the hot rivet and then you do the press and you will have the rivet so this is called as the hot riveting process so let's we go to the uh, our um, main slides uh, so i think you have understood that what is the hot riveting and cold riveting now it is important that we should know which type of the material is used right in the riveting so your material should be tough enough and ductile this is the essential requirement for the rivet material and it should confirm some indian standard so the is1148 that is a specification for the hot roll riveting bars right up to 40 mm diameter and another code that is 1149 that is a specification for the high tensile high tensile steel rivet bar for the structural purpose and uh, we have for the boiler work we have the code that is 1990 and that is the name of that particular um, rivet uh, sorry um, code is specification of steel plate steel rivet and step bars for the boilers um, the steel um, which you are you are using the steel low carbon steel and nickel and you can have the this type of the steel uh, you have the high strength and fluid tight joint the main consideration uh, where you are doing the riveting the tensile strength 
it should not be less than it should not be less than 40 newton per mm square and elongation is not less than 26 percent so these are the um, material requirement material requirement for the rivets right for the rivet now manufacturing of rivet uh, that we have the two method cold heading process and hot forging process and uh, these cold heading process they shall subsequently be adequately heat treated so that the stress the setup in the cold heading process are eliminated and in the hot forging care shall be taken to see that the finished rivet cool gradually this is the most important thing it should be uh, finished rivet should be cool gradually that is requirement for the forging so we have manufacturing we have two type of the uh, method one that is process one that is the coal heading and second one that is the hot forging process now different type of the rivets so here in the um, if you can see here that uh, rivet below 12 mm rivet below 12 mm diameter and rivet head for the general purpose and the diameter of rivet is below 12 mm so we have the code that is 2155 so these are the different snap head pen head then this is the mushroom head countersunk countersunk head then here you have the flat counter sunk 90 degrees so 90 degree means this this angle here this angle is 90 degree then counter sunk with 60 degree counter sunk with the 60 degree with the rounded head see here you have the rounded head and this is the flat head so these are the type of the rivet which is less than 12 mm diameter and the specification is as per IS 2155 then we have a rivet head for general purpose but between 12 to 48 mm the respective code is is 1929 and snap head pen head pen means you will have the pen type pen in which you are have the pen pen type pen head with the tempered neck right so this is the tempered neck then round counter sunk and flat counter sunk with 60 degree and flat head so these are the rivets uh, different type of rivet for the boilers uh, from 12 mm to 48 mm and it should confirm to this uh, code that is 1928 again there is snap head clip head and pan head and there are number of different type of the heads which are used in the boiler now we go to the type of the Rivetted joint. So we have two type of rivetted joint. Uh, one that is called as the lap joint, in which uh, one flat is put over the another flat, and then we do the rivetting. Then we do the rivetting. That is what called as the lap joint. A lap joint is a joint. Lap joint is a joint that is that in which one flat overlap the other, and the two plates are then rivetted together and that is what called as the lap joint where in the bud joint if you look at the bud joint bud joint we put a two plate two plate we put the two plate facing to each other right facing to each other and then we covered with the cover plate and then we do the rivetting so this is the cover plate and this one is the your main plate so bud joint is the joint in which the main plates are kept in alignment butting it means touching each other and then cover plate is placed either on the side on the both side see here if you put uh, this is on the one side only side one side only then it is called a single rivet if you have sorry single cover if you on both side of this joint then it is called a double cover but the joint now let we see the classification so we have the rivetted joint 
theory we have the riveted joint here riveted joint that one is strong another one is a tight and strong in both strong and tight and strong you have lap joint as well as you have the butt joint so lap joint means you put one plate on another and then you do the riveting and in butt joint you put two plates to each other butting each other touching each other then you put the cover plate now lap joint is divided into classified into three way one that is single cover sorry single riveted double riveted and multi riveted where butt joint is classified into two way one is a single cover and another is a double cover single cover means you have one plate main plate you put it in the touch with another then you do the cover and then you do the rivet right that is called as a single cover but in double cover one plate is touching to the another plate then you put the cover plate on either side of the joint right either side of the joint and that is what called as the double cover but joint again that single cover but joint is classified single riveted double riveted and multi riveted similarly double cover is also be classified single riveted double riveted and multi riveted so let's we see the lap joint we have the lap joint single riveted lap joint so let i show you that um, what is the difference in the single rivet suppose i have a one plate that plate is overlapped over the another plate and if i have only one rivet right that drill at the hole inside this plates and i join it with the rivet then with the single rivet then it is called a single rivet if i have the plate one plate that join with the another plate in which if i put a two rivets one here and another one is here like this right like this then this is called as the double riveted lap joint if i have the multiple rivets one plate is joined with the another plate in the lap joint by providing the multiple rivets multiple rivets then it is called as the multiple riveted lap joint so this is called as the single riveted lap joint this is called as the double double riveted lap joint and this is this is called as the multi riveted lap joint multi riveted lap joint now in the same way we see the butt joint butt joint is again the single cover so if i have one plate main plate that is put touching it to the another plate and then i cover it with the one plate then i do the rivet on first plate with the another plate so cover plate is joined with the main plate cover plate joined with the another plate with only a single rivet on each side of this joint right is joint then it is called as the single single riveted single cover but joint single riveted single cover but joint similarly if we have the two rivet if we have the two rivet on either side of the joint on for the single cover one and two one and two then it is called as the double cover single riveted but joint if you have the multiple rivet on either side multiple rivet on either side multiple rivet on either side of the joint 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 so on the either side of this joint on both side we have the number of rivet then it is called a multi cover single cover but joint if you have a rivet at joint in which you have the cover plate on either side of the joint either side of the joint and if you are providing only a single rivet then it is called as a single rivet double cover but joint right double cover but joint if you have two rivet if you have two rivet one and two then it is called a double riveted double cover but joint and if you have multiple rivet then it is multi riveted double cover 
but joint so these are the classification of the riveted joint now there are some terminology important terminology uh, that is very much important so so here i am just changing the color uh, see here uh, the center to center distance between the two rivet right that is called as the pitch right that is called as the pitch so see blue one join with this red one plate main plate right these are both are the main plate and you join it with the rivet right then the with the line on which you are doing the riveting this line is called as the gauge line and this distance from where you are just leaving the space that is called as the edge right that this is what called as the edge right this is called edge distance and this is called as the pitch this is called as the edge distance center to the line of the end of the plate this this distance end of the plate this distance is called as the edge edge distance right edge distance and uh, if you put another rivet here then this spacing is called as the this is called as the back pitch right that is called as the back pitch so up to this uh, this is the basic introduction of this uh, riveted joint uh, further we will see in the next lecture